On May 20th, I hit a bit of a milestone in my life. I turned 50. Now, I don't normally celebrate birthdays because I'm not a 12-year-old child. And when you think about big milestone birthdays, maybe five because you can go into kindergarten, 10 because you're double digits, 13 because you're a teenager, 16 because you can drive in the U.S., 18 because you're an adult, but there's really nothing to celebrate because you're still depending on your folks and you can't have a beer yet. But then 21 comes along and you can have a beer. But I don't think 20-year-olds are celebrating 30, and 30-year-olds aren't celebrating 40, and most 40-year-olds are not celebrating 50. But I'm totally cool with it because I didn't walk into 40 very gracefully. In fact, I did it with a cane and a leg brace. I could barely do it, and I had a lot of assistance. Stairs were a struggle. You know, I had a four-point cane. It was pretty bad. But 50, I walked right into it, no problem. I feel good. And I was able to reach 50 years old with no tattoos anywhere on my body. That's probably weird, too. And I consider it an accomplishment. But I am strong. I'm stronger now than I was 10 years ago. I'm stronger now than I was five years ago. I feel like I'm just getting better. But I have no delusions about getting older and it's okay. I don't mind it. There are a couple things that are bothering me about this though. For instance, okay, fine. I'm 50 now. I'm officially an adult, like way into the adulthood thing. Like I'm a grandfather in the whole bit. I'm like an elder person, but I still have freaking pimples. And what's with that? I mean, you would think that Part of the trade-off, you know, with adulthood would be you can get rid of the pimples. But no, I still have them at 50. That's ridiculous. And I told myself a long time ago, when they go away, I'll start acting like an adult. So far, they have not. So, <laughs> I still got some hair. Not a lot, but there's some up there. We're not going to talk about the little bald spot back here that I comb over or hide or whatever. We'll call it a thin spot. We won't talk about that today. I thought it would be fun to celebrate my 50th birthday by hooking up with my friend Amy Hanna and doing a photo session where I got some portraits done. And I wanted some age appropriate portraits and I think she did a really good job. But then she got a little carried away and things got weird. But that's okay. I mean, I was thinking back to the picture of my father and I on his 50th birthday and what he looked like in his huffy work shirt and the pocket protector and the pen sticking out of it the comb over, the horn room glasses, the sideburns, just the man coming home from work, his wife baked him a cake. Uh, I'm, I'm not my father. There's nothing wrong with my father. But I, I came into 50 different than he did. But yeah, I'm happy to be here. And it feels no different than 40. I mean, well, it feels different than what my 40 was. But I don't feel any different uh, as far as anything else. I mean, okay, let's say I, it feels like 45. How's that? By 45, I was doing pretty good. 50 feels like 45. So that's not much different because 40 sucked. But 45 was better. So thanks for the birthday wishes for those of you who hit me up on social media. Got a gig coming up this Saturday. It's a dance and it should be fun. But I'll tell you right now that uh, my birthday, I had the laziest day ever. I did nothing. And I think when you turn 50, that's ultimately what you want to do, is have the laziest day in the world where you do nothing. And that's what I had. So thank you, everybody, for leaving me alone today. We'll see you next time. Get Glock coming up this weekend. Take care of yourselves. I appreciate you. Practice and enjoy.